Hi friends, namaste and welcome. This is a fluid hatha practice for autumn transition. My name is Michelle, if we don't know each other already. I'm so glad you're here with us. This season um, often feels uh, swirly, <laughs> kind of heady, um, maybe hectic as well. And often we try to counter that by really like rooting, you know, really standing, connecting down into the earth so that we can't get, you know, swept up, swept away in all of that swirl. But I also find it helpful and I find it helpful um, to rather than completely resist the swirl, uh, go along with it and and direct that energy, right? Sort of gather that momentum of movement, of swirl, of change that happens this time of year um, and direct it with intention, yeah? So that's what I wanna offer in this practice is the sense that we can, with a clear intention in um, at the center, at our heart, at our foundation, um, and expressing that out through our limbs, through our actions, our words, we can harness this energy of the, of the autumn and, and send it in a direction of where we want to go. So that's what we'll play with. Um, I don't expect you to need any special props for this practice, um, there'll be a little bit of twisting um, and a little bit of balance. So if you know that you need a little extra support for either of those things, um, gather that now. Uh, we'll begin in the practice, as always, with a little resonance, a little stillness, but be where it makes sense for you to be. We'll start eventually in a seat. So you could be in a seat now. Or not. Oh, <laughs> so <laughs> Mm. 
know that that resonance stays with you, lives always within you, between us. Find your way if you're not already to a supported seat. I like to sit up on a thin block or a pillow just to give my hips a little extra space. And just allow yourself to move freely for a moment. Work out any kinks in your shoulders, your spine, your hips, your neck. And then together, you need to feel yourself root down into the earth as you reach tall. And imagine gathering energy toward the center of your being. And then sending that back out, down through your tail, up and out through your hands, through the crown of your head. As you exhale, feel yourself come back to center. And as you inhale, expand in all directions. Then as you exhale, let your right hand fall down toward your thigh or toward the floor. Lean to the right. And then from that sort of center, rotate your rib cage still rooted down through your left side, through both sides, reach along through your left fingertips. Stay here with an exhale. As you're reaching, you're also gathering towards center. Then root to reach tall with both arms, inhale. Exhale, reach both hands forward. I'm just gonna turn so you can see. You're gonna pull your right arm back as if it's with resistance. Yeah, pull it back like you're pulling um, a bow, right? Pull it back, back, back. Keep pressing your right hip forward gently to, against your right ribs drawing back. From here, kind of let your <laughs> fist go if you had it. Open your right arm back behind you. Could even gaze toward your right fingertips. Give that a breath in, expand. Soften into the twist as you exhale. Bring your right hand back down toward the earth. Lift your left arm up and as if you're being lifted by your left hand, by your left ribs, lift your heart, maybe even lift your hips a little bit off the earth. And then bring it back down, back to center. Root down into the earth or into your seat. Reach up tall, inhale. Exhale, let your left hand drip down to the left, to your leg, your hip, your floor. <laughs> Stay rooted as you roll from center. Rotate your right ribs back, your left ribs under and forward. Reach long through your whole right side. Let your shoulders relax away from your ears. Breath in, comes back towards center, reach tall. Reach forward, feel yourself sort of integrate at the center and then pull your left arm back, pull back with some strength, like you're wrapping, rotating around that center point, around in tension. Then send some energy out through your left fingertips behind you, sit tall as you inhale. And exhale into, soften into the twist. Shoulders soften. Last breath in here. And out. Keep the twist, bring your left hand down toward the earth. Reaching your right arm tall. Stay with that, just lifting through your sternum, through your heart space, or all the way till it lifts your hips any amount. Come back down to earth. 
making your way toward a tabletop shape. I'm gonna remove the block support from toward this tabletop shape. And again, let there be any movement that calls you. Working out the kinks of it. But then quiet that movement and just gather yourself towards center. Feel yourself hug that space of intentionality between the heart center and your core, between the third and fourth chakra. That space. Root down from there and keep this integration, this steadiness, and keep your right leg bent, but begin to lift it up, your heel up toward the ceiling. Keep that hug toward center, but now expand. Press your heel toward the ceiling, press the back of your lungs, the back of your ears toward the ceiling. And then begin to make some big circles with your legs. So you'll kind of rotate your right hip Draw your right knee toward your right shoulder and then toward your belly. Go as slow or as not so slow as you like. I'm just kind of moving through the hip here. Make a couple of circles and then switch directions. And just notice if there's any difference in your stability when you change directions. And again, sort of finding yourself in the middle of that <laughs> swirling, extend your right leg back strong, hug towards center. And if you like, extend your left arm forward. So we're really now sending this energy in a direction. We gather it up towards center and then extend back and forward. Find a breath in. Exhale, draw your right knee toward your right shoulder. And if you like, your left elbow out to the left. Then again, inhale, extend. Exhale, draw in. If your left hand is lifted, place it back down. Step your right foot outside your right hand. Pour some weight into your right foot, down into the earth. Press into your right foot. And with that feeling of drawing a bow back, you're gonna extend your right elbow toward the sky. So pull from center, wrap around your center to draw your right elbow up toward the ceiling. Keep pressing down through your right foot as you extend now your right arm up toward the ceiling. Look just beyond your palm, be intentional reaching straight up from your shoulder. And then you might just heel toe your right foot a little closer to the center of the mat as you press down through it and rise toward a revolved Anjaneyasana. And settle. Down into the earth. The same feeling as before that we're hugging towards center and then expanding from there. Expanding that steadiness, that intentionality out through your limbs. Find a full breath in. And breath out. Bring your right hand onto the back of your right hip just for support as you lift your left arm straight up. So the same way we did a moment ago when you lifted your hips off the earth, but just lift up like there's a platform under your heart giving you support up and out, up and back maybe. Then recover your left arm forward. That's where you're Energy is going to go through this left hand. Press down through your right foot. Sort of windmill your hands forward and down to step forward fold, Uttanasana. As you're here, that same feeling that you could pour your weight down into the earth and gather some energy up into center. Then as you inhale, extend through your spine. Ardha Uttanasana, the halfway lift, extending back through your tail, forward through your crown, and use your whole exhale to fold back down. 
Same thing, but now bend your knees deeply, like chair pose, find that halfway lift, draw your tail back, your crown forward. Then keep the long spine as you settle your hips, lift your heart, Utkatasana chair pose. Settle back, press into the earth and up into the sky, all of that from that center of intention. Breath in. Soften into it, exhale. Breath in and out. Draw your hands forward, straight out from your shoulders, ish. <laughs> Shift your weight left. And just like you did when your knees were on the floor, draw your right heel in toward your seat and then press your right heel back. Slow and steady, reach it back to the back of the mat toward warrior one feet. Press down through both feet, yield some weight into the earth. Then from center, reach your arms up to the sky. Breath in, hugs towards center. Breath out, expands that steadiness. Now your arms are not expressing a twist here, but I always feel, it feels almost like a twisting sensation in this shape because of this pulling back through the left hip, forward through the right and through the right ribs. Draw in towards center, expand up and down and out. And then again, hinge forward, pouring your energy through your hands down into the floor. Lift your hips, pluck your left foot off the earth and step back, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Again, this is the first time in this shape, so if you feel the need to move a little bit, do that. But then again, bring your attention toward center. Back toward intention. And if you didn't have one at the beginning, we keep coming back to this space of intentionality to see what's there. Right? Either we're revisiting an intention that you set or checking in. What am I up to? What am I here for in this space, in this practice, in this season? Give yourself another breath to that space and from that space. Keep gathering toward center, sort of hugging your hands and feet toward each other. Keep your hips tall so much that they lift your heels and then bend your knees slowly to hover off the earth. So again, we're gathering strength towards center and expanding out. Draw your tail back, crown forward strong. Then let your knees touch down. Keep that steadiness as you draw your left heel toward the ceiling. Find the hug in and up through the back of your heart, the back of your ears. And keep that steadiness now as you make some circles with your left leg. Two or three circles and then switch directions. And then as you're ready and you feel that steadiness within the swirl, extend your left leg back. Feel the draw in the evenness of your hips and shoulders. And if you like, extend your right arm forward. Still that little lift through the back of your ears, the back of your lungs. Breathe in here. Exhale, draw your left knee toward your left shoulder and maybe your right elbow out toward your right hip. Inhale, extend along. Exhale, bend your limbs out to the side. If your right hand is lifted, bring it back down. Step your left foot toward the outside of your left hand. So we're really Stepping and moving with intention, yeah. 
pour your weight into your left foot, root down through your right hand. And again, like there's resistance, like you're drawing back a bow, pull your left elbow toward the ceiling. Feel the draw back of your left hip, the little bit of lift of your right hip to keep it even. And then peel your left arm open if you like. The right arm bone draws back, your shoulders are away from your ears. Perhaps gaze up past your left fingertips. A breath in, maybe walking your left foot a little closer to the center of your mat. Press down through it to rise, Anjaniasana. Excuse me, revolved, Parivrita, Anjaniasana. Hug towards center. Expand from there. Feel that expansion and the softening into it. Left hand comes to the back of your left hip. Reach your right arm straight up first. Feel the length between your right fingertips and your right knee on the earth. Extend that space. Keep lifting through the heart, maybe leaning back a bit in this twist. Still your left arm bone, left shoulder draws away from your ear. Breath in. Return to the twist, right arm forward. You can keep your left hand or extend it back again, but the right arm is showing you where you're gonna go. Pour your weight forward, hands toward the earth, step forward, fold Uttanasana. Gather strength up through your legs. Extend it out. Halfway lift, root through your feet. From that center, extend through your spine, extend through your heart, through your crown. Fold it back down. Bend your knees deeply. Same halfway lift, lengthen your spine. And just settle back a little extra. Lift your heart up. Utkatasana. Press through your feet, extend up through your thumbs. Settle. Breath in. Settle back, reach forward. Shifting your weight right. Pull your left heel up toward your seat or toward the ceiling. Extend your left heel back. Let that tell you where you're gonna go. Extend back to step back. Virabhadrasana. Lift your arms, lift your thumbs toward the ceiling, keep settling in your legs, in your pelvis. But again, we're not trying to be a rock in the river, right? We're not completely resisting that flow around us and the flow of breath. Let the shape breathe. Let it expand and soften. And that Hint of twist, pulling back through your right thigh bone, through your right hip, your right ribs, and forward through the left. Full body breath. Keep lifting through your thumbs, through the back of your waist, but drop heavy through your pelvis and your feet. One more breath in. Then again, hinge forward, pour your weight down through your hands into the earth. Lift through your hips, step back, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog, breathe in. Breathe out. Root through your hands, hug towards center and lift your hips till your heels lift. Hug in. I'm actively, it almost feels like I'm doing like a little crunch, a little sit up right now. And I hug hands and feet together. Bend your knees slow. Hover them off the earth. Keep that little crunch and extend through your spine. Slow and steady at the same time, land your knees. Extend through your spine. Keep the steadiness. As you walk your hands in toward your knees, press down through your shins to rise up. Roll your shoulders back, let your palms face forward. Just pausing here for a moment. 
This is, in my mind, a variation of Tadasana, right? When we're standing firm at the top of the mat, you're just standing firm on your shins <laughs> instead. But there's the same hug in through your legs and down. Draw down through your tail and up through your navel. And that's drawing, again, toward that place of intentionality. Supporting the heart space. Supporting the arms, the shoulders, the head, the thoughts. All of it. Reach forward. Keep the hug towards center, like you're drawing back a bow. Draw back your right elbow. Your right hip keeps drawing forward. Extend your right arm back. There's a lot of energy in both arms. Lift your left arm tall. So again, the length between your left knee and your left fingertips gets longer. You can support yourself right hand on your right hip or don't, but keep pressing your right hip forward as you lift up and back. Breath in, breath out. Both arms reach forward. Again, gather back towards center. With an exhale, pull your left elbow back. Left hip keeps drawing forward as your left ribs drop back. Keep the energy through your hands. Extend your left arm back. Soften your shoulders. Stay here or reach your right arm tall, still drawing your left hip forward, just energetically, just a little. Stay here or bring your left hand toward your left hip, leaning it up and back. And if your left hand is on your left hip, there's not weight in it, yeah? It's just steadying, a breath in, a breath out. Gather yourself back forward, reach forward, Kind of plug your arm bones in. Then toward camel pose, Ustrasana. Bend your elbows in along your body, along your torso. Draw both hands to your sacrum. Press down, not forward, down to root. Lift the heart space and lean back any amount. Draw your chin down and back. To stay open. And again, let this shape breathe. You're not a statue here. Breathe in. Extend out through your crown. Next, inhale, gather yourself back up. Settle your hips to your heels for a moment. Just settle. Come back towards center. We have these big expansions, these big pushes of energy. Come back to intention. Yeah. What am I up to? What am I doing with this energy, with this momentum here? Where am I going? <laughs> and the beauty of intention is it doesn't really matter if you know where you're going. You just know how you're going to go. Right? That quality of movement. All right, when you're ready, gather yourself back through a tabletop shape and then to downward facing dog. Though I will say, if you're feeling um, sensitive in your shoulders or your wrists and you would rather move from tabletop instead of downward facing dog, please feel free, it totally works. Lift your knees if you're going there. Adho Mukha Svanasana. So if you're in tabletop, we'll do the same as we did before. Or if you're in down dog, same, same, but different. Yeah. Draw your right heel toward your seat, pressing your right foot up toward the ceiling. Now, really important, especially if you're in down dog, to keep the steadiness, that hugging towards center and press down through your hands, lift through your belly. From here, make a big circle, one in each direction. Trying to stay steady as you can in your left hip. And then extend your right heel straight back or maybe up a little bit, but back through your hip, forward through your crown. Inhale, expand. 
Exhale, draw your right knee toward your right shoulder. Stay lifted in your hips, even lift your heel. Look forward to step outside your right hand. Been here before. Draw your right elbow up toward the ceiling. Press down through your right foot, down through your right thigh bone even. Extend your right arm toward the sky. As you root down, extend through your back leg, even up through your back thigh. Press down to rise, left arm forward. Revolved, Anjani Asana, and that's a, a crescent lunge variation, right? The back knee lifted. Hug in and expand out. Breathe. Your legs stay the same for now, but on release the twist, reach your both arms forward. Feel yourself strong like you're hugging a block between your hands. Then spin your back heel down, adjust as you need to. These are warrior two feet. Yeah, so instead of squaring your hips forward with your hands, your hips are kind of off toward this top left corner of the mat or the room. Be here. Now, expressing intention through your limbs, press down into the earth, pull your left elbow back like a bow. Then extend your left arm long. Still with it, breath in, both legs are strong, hug towards center, support, expand it out. Maybe bring, leave your left arm extended instead of bringing it down as you lift your right arm up. Press through both feet, lift your heart, lean up to lean up and back. Exalted warrior, breath in. Again, this right arm tells you where to go. Shift your weight forward, forward, forward toward a half moon shape. Your right hand doesn't have to reach for the floor. It could just keep reaching out and forward. Your crown draws forward. At the same time, press your left heel back. And here's the kicker. Rotate around the center to roll your left ribs back. Ardha Chandrasana, B half moon, full breath. Stay with it, but soften your right knee. Gather up like you're drawing yourself through a straw. <laughs> yeah, coming to Tadasana. Gather up both feet to the earth, both arms to the sky, Ardha Hastasana. Then release your hands down along your sides. Back to Tadasana, this space of rooting and expanding. But then, <laughs> give it some sway. Shift your weight side to side. Notice you still have this steadiness, even though you're in movement now. Shift your weight to the left to bring your right foot onto your left leg toward tree pose, Vrikshasana. Hugging your legs in toward each other, then extend your arms up toward the sky. Find that center steadiness, and then the option to move your arms and your ribs a little bit. I mean, kind of sway your branches. I've heard teachers say that. I don't know if that's cheesy or beautiful or both, but. <laughs> Let your tree kind of move around and sway in the breeze, knowing that there's that steadiness you can keep or come back to, yeah. When you're ready, draw your hands down through heart center. Press your palms into each other, namaskar mudra. As you're pressing your legs toward each other and extending your heart, your crown up, then again, I'm gonna use this right leg, this right foot as direction, as an arrow of where to go. So with an exhale, begin to release your right leg back, press your right leg back, bend your left knee, kind of moving through this warrior three shape, but then down to the earth. Maybe your hands and feet can land at the same time. Then again, lift through your hips to step 
back. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Breathe here. And again, the option to be in that tabletop shape instead. But where you are, find the hug towards center. Then draw your left heel toward your seat and then up toward the ceiling. There's still a steadiness in your right leg, a little lift through your right hip. From here, make some circles. I'm just going with like one circle each direction, but if you're moving faster, you might be doing more. Then send your left leg, shoot your left leg back as you draw your crown forward and gather towards center. Full breath in. Gather your left knee toward your left shoulder. Step to the outside of your left hand. And if you were in your tabletop, here's where you might tuck your toes behind you, lift your back thigh. Rooting into your right hand, pull your left arm back like that bow, press down through your left thigh. First your elbow and then your fingers to the sky. Wrap yourself around that center point. Rotate toward the sky. Press down through your left foot to rise, right arm forward, hug in, to expand out. The front thigh settles down toward the earth, the back thigh presses up toward the sky. Both arms reach forward now. Keep a hug like you're holding a block between your hands, spin your back heel down. For warrior two in your legs, but your arms are still forward. Find the same hug in and down and up, and then pull as if with resistance. Pull your right elbow back, your right hip might open a bit more as well. And then release your right arm open. Hug in to expand out. Root down as you lift your left arm along your ear. Maybe right hand toward your hip. Maybe it stays reaching as you lift up and back. Roll your left ribs back. Breathe. Then left arm leads you up. Pours your weight forward through your left leg. Toward our half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Half moon B actually. Extend out like you could press into something through all your limbs and be sort of swimming, reaching, flying through the swirl. Wrap around the center to roll your right ribs back. Breathe. Keep all that. Just soften your standing leg, the left leg, and then gather yourself up, both feet to the earth, both arms to the sky, lift your heart. Maybe even lean it back a little on this one. Then gather back up. Hands down through heart center. Feel the steadiness. Then release your hands to your sides. We're moving toward our tree pose. Vrikshasana, yeah, so first Find that little bit of sway. Then root through your right foot to so gather your left foot into your right leg. And really hug in. And it doesn't matter whether your left foot is below your knee or above your knee. Try not to stick it right on your knee, because that's a lot of pressure. Find that hug in. Find the steadiness and the strength. And then know that from there you can grow. <laughs> From there, you can sway and swirl all you want, or as little as you want. Knowing there's this steadiness that holds or that you can come back to if you get a little too wobbly, wavery. I'm gonna turn back to the front of the mat. Reach it tall. 
Draw your hands back toward heart center. This time, press your palms together and then find a little space between your palms so that your fingers and your thumbs still touch the edges of your hands. But there's this little space of potentiality between your palms. Drawing that toward that space of intentionality between the heart and the belly. Keep that as you bend your right knee, extend your left heel back. So again, we're gathering up this intention and sending it out. And then release down to the earth, hands and left foot reach back. Step your right foot back. Hatho Mukha, downward facing dog, breathe in. Breathe out. Hug in towards center. Again, find that little bit of fire at the center, hugging hands and feet toward each other as you lift your hips and bend your knees, almost like you're trying to draw your knees toward your nose, but they come down to hover above the earth. Extend through your spine. Keep the strength as your knees touch down. Once more, walk your hands in toward your knees. Press down through your shins to stand up. Take a moment to again find the steadiness, hug through your legs, expand long through your spine. A couple of options here. Yeah, so you can sit on your heels for a second if you want to just watch what's going on. Options are to bring both hands onto your sacrum, lift your heart and find that Ustrasana camel pose. Or find that with a bit of swirl. Yeah, as we did before, you'll find the twist and then your right hand to your right um, hip, lifting your left arm up. But then you'll keep reaching your left arm across and sort of swirl it over to bring your left hand to your left hip. Reach up and back. Swirl your right arm across your body, across the horizon to find your hip again. And then you can stay with that back and forth or you can start to kind of roll in a big circle, leaning back and then forward, back and then forward, yeah. See what feels good to you. But start with this place of steadiness. Hug through your legs, through your navel and your heart. Draw toward each other. Lift up. Reach forward. Again, you could just bend both elbows, work with your Ustrasana camel pose a couple times, or draw your right elbow back, your right hip still forward. Right hand to your hip, reach up and back through your left arm and then sort of swim your left arm across your body. Sweep to the other side, left hand reaches back, then to your hip, reach your right arm up and back, and then down across your body, across the horizon. Then you can kind of release into a sway that feels good to you. but breathe <laughs> and allow this movement to come from that center, from a place of strength. I do sometimes forget to breathe in this, so I'm reminding you extra to breathe as you're flowing and flying. Give it maybe two more rounds of whatever you're working with, two or three more rounds of breath. And then gather yourself back to center. Sit your hips to your heels or find a different seat. Draw your hands onto your body. Again, into that sort of space between your belly button and your heart. Maybe it's just like your lower ribs. Yeah. Or a little higher. Your diaphragm, that place of breath. 
is a place of power. When we move from here, we move with intention, with purpose. And we'll get where we need to go. From where you are, send your hips to one side to find your seat on the earth. Bring your feet out in front of you. Sorry, I just have to move the microphone so I don't lay down on it. <laughs> Feet in front of you, root down through your feet. Reach forward. Then again, pull your right arm back and extend your right arm back. Reach forward. So you're moving from strength, but in this sort of fluid way, pull your left elbow back, extend your left arm back. Reach forward. Keep the hug in through both arms as you roll your way down onto your back. Slow and steady as you can. Root your hands to the earth. A bridge pose, Satu Bandhasana. Bridges, of course, are connectors. Yeah, we're in this sort of connecting season. So allow your feet to root into the strength of the earth. As then your spine lengthens, your tail draws toward your knees, your heart lifts up. That space of intention is really buoyed here by your strength and by your breath. Press down into the earth through your feet, maybe through your hands. Lift the heart space, lengthen at the back of your neck. Yeah, your crown draws forward, your chin toward your chest. Could stay here or find a little exploration. <laughs> yeah, you might walk your left foot a little closer to center and let your right leg move with intention or the other way around. Yeah, maybe your right foot is rooted and your left leg explores. But you can move knowing you have this place of steadiness that's supporting you and that you can come back to. And give it one or two breaths more. And then return to the earth. Let your hips come down. Draw your feet together and your knees wide. Or if that is super uncomfortable, you can walk your feet as wide as your mat and rest your knees toward each other. Either way, it's just a, a neutral position for your spine. A place to settle. And one more shape to open up to, and that's a fish pose. Yeah. If you would rather take a supported shape right now, almost a restorative shape. You'll bring a block or a bolster onto the mat right at the back of your heart, like between your shoulder blades. Yeah, because that's what we're going to be lifting up. So again, you could have support underneath right there. Or <laughs> walk your, sort of roll to your right and walk your left hand under your seat. And then roll to your left, kind of on top of your left wrist and roll your right arm, palms down under your seat. Begin to extend your legs out in front of you on the floor. Press down through your hands, roll your shoulders under you, lift your heart until your head could lift, opening your throat. Shoulders stay back. Press down into the earth to lift the heart. So it's as if there's that support at the back of your heart, or maybe there is support at the back of your heart. Press down to expand out of the earth, lifting intention up to the sky. Let it move in your breath. And 
Next exhale, begin to roll it back down, extend out and then release your arms from underneath you. You might just find yourself here and want to stay. <laughs> right? If Shavasana is calling you, stay. Allow yourself to settle into the earth. If your body is asking for some other shape or to work out one more kink before you're still, allow yourself that. If you know you would rather finish your practice in a meditative seat, find your way there. Choose your own adventure towards stillness. That's where we're headed. Have a bit longer Shavasana today. Guide you a little bit in the beginning and then let you go. <laughs> Let you stay steady. As you settle toward stillness, we'll make a distinction here between stillness, steadiness, stagnation. To know that being still is not stagnant. It is instead an acknowledgement of the steadiness it's not a, a gripping but an allowing the steadiness to hold you as everything else moves through. Breath moves freely. Energy moves freely, whatever it is you're here to gather or release, to cultivate or to offer. Let it move through. Allow yourself to be in this space. Trust that you are where you need to be. That you'll get where you need to go with intention. We'll gather back together in a few moments, but for now, allow yourself to be here.
begin to notice again that you're breathing. That breath moves freely when we let it. Notice that you're supported, that there is a steadiness always with you just as this resonance is with you. We gather our attention, our awareness back together for the collective resonance. I'll offer the sound of OM and invite you to join. The sound that honors what came before ancestors in this practice, sound that honors where we go, how we carry it forward off the mat, and also where we are in this moment. All that with this ancient sound. So feel free to stay low. We're going to rise again toward a seat. Together, find a deep breath in and let it go toward all a breath in. Gather your attention, maybe your hands too, toward that space of intention. May it move through your actions, your thoughts, your words, through this day, this week, this season. It's from this space where we're connected, where we're the same about you. with grace, with gratitude, with love. As always, thank you for being here, being in this community. We are stronger and brighter because you're here. Appreciate you. Be well, see you soon. Hey friends, me again. I wanna say thank you again for being here, for being in this community. We appreciate you. We love sharing these practices with you. We wanna do it more and with more people. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to this channel and like these videos. I know it seems super simple, but it really does help more people access this content and help support us in creating it for you. We wanna support you. We wanna support each other. So let us know what you wanna see. Leave a comment. Um, about the kind of practices you want to move to and be still to and the kind of things that you want to talk about. We're here for each other. That's what we're here for. Hope to see you soon. In the meantime, be well.